Yeah. I'm just filming anything I can see from public. I'm staying in the public. That's okay. It is? Yes. Uh, he just can't record in the courtroom. Yeah, I have no intention of that. He's in a public building. That's okay. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm Justin. You can film in the hallways. You can film all the artwork, the hallways, anything in here. But as far as the private offices, you can't step in their videotaping. I am allowed to do that. No. I'm not trying to start anything, but I promise no, you I am. No, I'm telling you, you can't. Uh, so it's actually against the law because there's people private information. Can you show me the law that would stop me from doing that? Yeah, we can look it up if you would like. Yeah, but I'd like I, you to I show me that. What you're doing I'd like you to I'm show me. I'm familiar with the people that do I this. don't want to start anything. Yeah, I just I want to see the building. I'm, I'm telling you where you can film and where you cannot. And you're well, you're incorrectly telling me. The Random Patriot is one of the best new auditing channels out there today. Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. First Amendment auditing is a phenomenon that spread like wildfire because the videos show exactly how government has become tyrannical. Isn't the government supposed to work for the people, or are they supposed to work for themselves? Many servants have said, you don't pay me, the government does. If that's so, why is the government taxing you? Many of you have put blood, sweat, and tears into long hours of work and have paid taxes for everything from a stick of gum to property taxes. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, red or blue, man or woman, gay or straight, young or old, nor pretty or ugly. We the people have rights, but for some reason, people in government think they're above you. The random patriot understands this, so he started a channel and decided to go inside government installations and started asking questions. He has a great positive attitude. He is as professional as can be, but it doesn't matter how professional one can be. Government still tries to override his rights with their feelings. Check out this video from the random patriot. Make sure to go subscribe to his channel. Let him know that we appreciate his efforts tremendously. His links will be in the description and pinned comment as always. Let's watch this video. We'll pause for some comments and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. I'm in Saline County, uh, which is in Benton, Arkansas. This is the Saline County Courthouse. Here we enshrine forever the glorious memory of the living and the dead who through their valiant efforts and bitter sacrifice have kept us a free people interesting let's let's go test that what's up i gotta come through here yeah oh just everything i can see from public oh okay i got you yeah. um you got any knives weapons pepper spray no ready? sir just two just phones go, just go ahead and do your pockets oh sure anything else on you it's a little bit Good afternoon. Hi, can I help you? Happy Friday. I'm good, thank you. I'm just looking around. I don't mean to bother you. Okay. You guys have a lot of decorations here. I love it. Our circuit clerk does a lot of it. Oh, okay. What's her name? Or his or her? Micah Sample. Micah? That's a that's a girl? A girl? Okay, because I've met both. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a good one. You too. Thanks. Hey, we got a mural. Is this original to the building? Who, is this, who requested this? What do you mean? You're just walking in here and videoing us? Yeah. Who Can I get your name, please? Or... Your policy states you have to identify yourself if a member of the public asks. You're a who? Your, your policy states that you have to identify yourself if a member of the public asks. I mean, I understand this. I'm a member of the public. Okay, I understand you're the Republic, but... No, I'm a member of the public. I am the public. If a member of the public, like me, asks you to identify yourself, you're supposed to do that for me, please. I'm a journalist. I'm working on a story here in Benton. <laughs> so, instead of just telling me your name, you're going to try to start a confrontation? Can you come to the wooden door, please? That's that's embarrassing, dude. You need to act better. That's sad. I was literally just trying to have a conversation with you about the building and the mural, and you want to be like that. You're embarrassing yourself. That's super sad. You want to step over here so you're not going to walk anywhere else? Um, I can walk anywhere the public's allowed. You need to quit giving me unlawful orders. I'm just filming anything I can see from public. I'm staying in the public. That's okay. It is? Yes. He just can't record in the courtroom. Yeah, I have no intention of that. He's in a public building. That's okay. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm Justin. He wouldn't identify himself to you. He doesn't have a name tag on either. 
Okay, what, no I just want to know his name, that's all. I'm not trying to start anything, I'm not trying to make a complaint, nothing. I just want to know his name. His name's Kyle. What's his last name? How do you pronounce your last name? Okay. Okay. M-C-K-A-Y, M-C-C-A-Y, how do you spell it? What is it? M-C-K-A. And this is what I like to see, folks. Supervisors actually doing their jobs. How many times do we see supervisors come out and act just as bad as their underlings? Not only did he tell this puppy dog to stop barking, but he also identified him for the people. Outstanding job. Keep watching. I was trying to ask someone out here and they wouldn't answer me. The mural out there, is that original to the building? That really big mural right here on the other side of this wall right here? I yeah. Think it, I don't think it's original to the building, but yeah, it's, I think it's a little plaque. Like story on it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know when the building was built? Uh, 1932, I believe. Sweet. Thank you. Let me go look at that plaque. So that lady says this building was built in 1932. If that's correct, then this was this mural was put up 10 years later. Of the mining. Wow. Look at that home. People have nicer sheds than that these days. Circuit Park has a request that you not go in the office itself. You can film in the hallways, you can film all the artwork, the hallways, anything in here. But as far as the private offices, you can't step in there videotaping. I am allowed to do that. No. I'm not trying to start anything, but I promise no, you I am. You can't. Where does this woman get off thinking that she can talk to the people this way? She has absolutely no authority over her free people. She's an absolute authoritarian, and this is the problem with government, folks. They think that these buildings belong to them, and they think that the people are under them. If you guys stick around to the end of the video, you're absolutely going to love the fact that she gets put in her place. And this is why these videos are so important, not just because of them and seeing them get deflated, but because we the people get to watch these videos and learn that government workers have absolutely no authority over us. Keep watching the video, folks. You're absolutely going to love the end. It's actually against the law because there's people private information. Can you show me the law that would stop me from doing that? Yeah, we can look it up if you would like. Yeah, but I'd like I, you to show me that. What you're doing I'd like you to I'm show me. I'm familiar with the people that do I this. I don't want to start anything. Yeah, I just want to see the building. I'm, I'm telling you where you can film and where you cannot. And you're film. well, you're incorrectly telling me. No, I'm really not. So well, I've been then, in law enforcement for 20 years, and I'm familiar with the type I, of people that do this and film YouTube. Most videos, police. Trying to antagonize I am not and trying to antagonize. If you didn't come up to me right now, we would have nothing to worry about. Uh, until you show me that law, until you show me that law, are you going to arrest me if I go in there? Into the circuit park's office? Yes. Because you have been requested not to go in there. Which are you going to arrest me? Yes, absolutely. We will call Benton Police Department and have you arrested. So what would you arrest me for? Because you will be trespassing. You can't. Mr. Clark has requested you not go in there. You will not go Why in the Why are you starting office. something with me right now? I'm not. I you came up to me you. starting no, something. No, sir. I informed you where you could feel. You guys are terrible. I can go in there. I promise you I can. Okay. You attempt to go in there, you will be arrested. Yeah. That's embarrassing. You guys need to do better. Okay. I've been cordial, asking everyone questions. There's been Correct. no issues. I informed you that you could film in the public. I'm James. How you doing? Yeah. I'm Justin. I'm nice to meet you, brother. What we help you with today? <laughs> I didn't still want to be bothered. I was just looking at the public hey, areas. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking at the public areas of the building. I'm looking at all the paintings on the walls. I'm asking questions about the history of the building. I haven't been rude to anybody. No, I haven't no, gotten anyone's face. And she no, got. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no reason for any of this. It's no fun. Yeah. This dude right here, he needs to be moved somewhere else too because he started something with me as soon as I walked in. Can we go in the clerk's office just to show her that I can do that? All I want, I'm not even going to point it at the desk. I just want to see what's on the wall. No. You know, we, no? We don't, we don't go in behind it. There, that's why we no, I have no intentions. No, 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 that's not yeah, what I'm we saying. Don't, we don't go. We no, don't no, go no. So, like, when you go in an office, well, come here. You no, this is, I think you're misunderstanding me, sir. Right. So, Still what I'm right we'll open. like, all I'm wanting to do is so, like, when you right let's say this is the clerk's office right here, might be a painting. I just want to come in and see that. I'm not trying to get behind her desk or even point it at her you desk. Can you can see, you know, is there anything? I mean, I don't have any. <laughs> I'm sorry, my desk. I've been trying to work today. I'm sorry. Else. You said you were the chief? I'm chief of security here. Yes. Chief of security. Gotcha. Yes. 
So are those deputies out there, or are they just security? They're my core security officers. Ah, okay. And everything else, they, you know, stuff right here. Where everybody is subject to search coming in here and everything else. You know, people do conduct their business and everything else there at the counters and all that. Gotcha. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You know, everything. Would you mind escorting me? And I just want to see what is displayed for the public in the clerk's office. I don't want to, I'm not going to point it at her desk. I have no intentions of even looking at her in any way. I just want to see what's displayed for the public on the wall in the clerk's office. And I, and you can escort me. I'm not even trying to do anything. We don't escort people there. People well, I'm just saying, if you're worried about me, if you're worried about me, I don't mind you escorting me is what I'm getting at. No, we don't escort anybody behind the counter right there. I don't think, I think you're, I'm, the, did I ever say I wanted to go behind the counter? He keeps saying that I'm saying I want to go behind the counter. When I specifically have said like three times, I don't even want to point it at the counter. I just want to see what's displayed on the wall. When did I say I want to go behind the counter? You keep saying that well, I'm saying that. You said you want to be escorted into the clerk's office. Into, yeah, like, so this is the clerk's office and that's her desk. I want to come in and see, oh, look, this is on the wall. And then I want to leave. That's what I mean. And I'm, and I'm not asking to be escorted. I'm just saying I don't care if you do. If you're worried about me, I mean, come with me. Watch me look at what's on the wall and walk out. Why are you guys like this? You should be like, let's go, dude. Let's go see. That's what you should be right now. This is stupid. Who are you? Why do you keep following me around? <laughs> Why are you asking me questions? Well, you're looking at me I'm and mad. following me. Who are you? I'm, I'm Justin. Nice to meet Who are you. you? What, Justin. Are you, what are you doing? I want you guys to take a look at this public servant here. His name is Matt, and he's a county judge. This is all the people could ask for. This is a prime example of where our tax dollars should be going. If I had any kind of power, I'd take every dollar from each of the tyrannical parasites that tried to violate the random patriots' rights, and I'd give it to Matt. These incompetent servants should pay for Matt's family to go to a Michelin star restaurant for dinner, and it'd be even better if they served his family as well. That's how disgusted I am to see our tax dollars go to waste on the wrong kind of people. I'm, uh, I'm a journalist. Okay, great. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. I've heard of your company. Have you? A lot lately, yeah. What, what's that company? The Independent Journalist Company. <laughs> are, you, go with me? are you familiar with with Free Press, the First Amendment? I am. Everyone's Free Press. That's Everyone's why I said press. I've heard of, of, of you a lot lately. Why just lately? This is since 17, is. when did the Bill of Rights get written? I wasn't alive in 17. I look like it, but I wasn't. <laughs> Can, you want to go to the clerk's office with me? Yeah, come on. Heck yeah. Thank you, man. I love your jacket, by the way. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. I like the shoes. Thanks, brother. Now I don't want to be arrested for walking in here. I'm not walking in there. I'm, we just walked down here. Does he work here or is he... <laughs> or am I just being lit around by a random guy? Oh, is this the clerk's office? Yeah. Oh, it. yeah. Oh, okay. That's why you were saying... To go behind the counter. I didn't realize this was this was that. Yeah. yeah. So so they were saying I couldn't walk through here. That's what they were saying they were going to arrest me for for walking through here. No. Uh, that's what he. That's what dude said. Uh, or living, no, not even the dude. You're, it was that. You're living in the past. Now. That what lady. No. Ten. Two this minutes is, ago. Hey, this is a. Not so good. Two minutes ago, a lady told me that if I walk through here with my camera, that she's going to trespass me and have me arrested. Oh well, I, I, I wasn't around for any of that. No. That's why I was like, yeah, "What the that's heck?" Not happen. And I didn't realize it was that's, this. That's not going to happen. I was thinking it was like an office that I could that she didn't want me Man, going you're not in. Let it down, are you? I nah, um, well, I feel a lot better now. That this is all she was talking about. I already walked to, through here like two or three times. And didn't even get arrested. <laughs> yeah. All right. Me either. Well, and there, I just want to tell you though, I do have an office that we can't. If it's yeah. your personal mm -hmm. office, I don't need to go no, in there. I mean, we have like it's a juvenile office and stuff. So I, I, don't I don't want to go in there. I do not want to go in a juvenile office. We're doing <laughs> yeah. what you were wanting to do, right? right? Heck yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So hey, there's stuff behind you, though. So I, I actually looked at all this. Actually, like none none of this would have even been started if that female and I probably had her name on camera. I'm not sure. Oh, let's but, not live in the past. We're here now. Well, she started a whole thing, and you and we don't want her doing that again. So we need to make sure that she understands this is completely legal. Can we make sure that she understands that? Where is she? I don't know. Where would you want to go now? I'm a, wherever she is is where I'd like to go. I don't know where. Uh, there she is. Am I going to be trespassed and arrested? Are you? 
I mean, I don't like being, I don't like my freedom being threatened for walking through a freaking hallway in a public building. That okay. that ticks me off a little bit. If you, if you were, if you, you guys have been great. I'm not coming at you. I'm just a little bit mad that this is what she was threatening to arrest me for. What have I'm you, doing you right now. The other parts of the I would love to. Come yes. on, I'll take you on. Come Thank on. you. You know when this thing was built? She said 1932. Is that right? No, 1902. Oh, two. Okay. Yeah. So, there you go. come on. What's your name, ma'am, by the way? Is it your policy to identify yourself? I have been told not to speak to you. You may go. Well, you're supposed to identify yourself. Can we just, I just want to know her name. If she's going to work in a public building, then we need to know her name. I, uh, thank you, sir. This is, this is the man right here. This is the county judge's office. Hi. How are you? Whoa, that painting is awesome. Isn't that nice? I freaking love that. Can I get a can I stand right here That's and get a shot of it? Thanks. Yeah, that was painted by Matt Coburn. Is he local? local he is? Mm -hmm. He sure he actually is. has a gallery in Bentonville now. Oh, does he? I didn't know that. That is cool. That actually belongs to uh, our former county judge. It's just on loan to us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's beautiful. We got lots of comments about it. Yeah, I love that thing. Hey, if you want to, you can, uh, well, you probably don't want to give me your email address, do you? Yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. I'll say, I can, I can give you a roster of every employee we got. Please. Can, I, can you just tell me her name real quick, though? That's really important to me. Okay. Um, uh, um, it's public knowledge. I can fully request it. Lockerby. 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 I think, let me, can I find something? Mm -hmm. I, I think what Amy was trying to do was, I had told her that we would not let you in our general area. And that's not what she came at me with at all. She and never brought that up once. And well, then, she just and then her attitude. Because I mean, like we're recording now, yeah. we are in a courthouse that there's order protections that comes through. There's important things. So what if somebody was in here? I mean, like I'm not giving you hey. permission to record it. I don't need your permission. And I can, I can, I can record public. anything in but public, you gotta think of especially if you if, work for the public. On, what if we had? Well, where did that come from? That you didn't give me permission if to record you? Had an order of protection against somebody, and they're up here, and you're recording. That's, I mean, that's that. That's, that's inconvenient. What, I think that that's what we're kind of. But that's, that, that's that doesn't mean my Trump. Scares. That doesn't mean my rights go away. No, it don't. But you can't give me a scenario where like, well, your rights go away because of a possible think scenario. If you come up and said, "Hey, judge," or "Hey, Miss Circuit." Clark, that's literally what I did the entire time. Hold on, time out. Tell me your name again. Justin. 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 Yours too. I'm sorry. I already forgot it. Stephen. I'm Matt. Matt. <laughs> Way off. And I'm not trying to be ugly with you. I'm just trying no, to. No, you're being like, polite. You're being I'm polite. I'm trying to explain because, I mean, if you want to record our Christmas stuff and all that, that's great. We're very proud of it. But it's just, you know. It's just, Let me just say this. Yeah. Sometimes things get lost in communication. Yeah. People may make a mistake. And if somebody's upset, these guys we depend on to yeah. keep us safe. That's no reflection on you or anybody else. No. They may have been told something and were going to stop what they thought was going to occur and erred on the side. Yeah. Maybe, well, they just need to know maybe, the law and know their job better if they're going to try to enforce things and then order people around and threaten their freedom. Then they need to know what they're talking about. Nobody here wants to threaten anybody. She did already. She and, threatened and to arrest me. That, okay. I got on camera and everything. Uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not debating you. You know, I'm just saying sometimes accidents or misunderstandings happen. Well, she doesn't need to be in that uh, position I mean, if she's going to walk around acting like that. Okay. That's let's not look, that's not who you want here. And I'm not I'm not trying to. That's debate, not who you want I'm here. I'm not trying to debate you. Let's. I mean, let's she she could have came at me just like she did, and you know what I mean. Did, did you threaten my freedom? No. Like, why would you? Why would she? That. The first guy that was in here a minute ago, too, the younger guy, I don't know where he is. He's another one. He was trying to say, I can't do this. Okay. Like, what's going on? Well, we appreciate you admiring our Christmas That's all. decorations and our history. We love, You're, I love, we love history. Our, we love our and I love Christmas. We love our, our circuit court. Justin, right? And I love freedom. Justin. Yeah, yeah. So Justin. Go with our judge. Go with our judge. Oh, you're a judge. 
Well, now I feel yeah, extra special. Title. I feel super special now. I'm the county judge. Okay. This is where district court, or I'm sorry, the circuit judge uh, sits at the bench. And it's Judge Brent Houston. And much different than me. I've got a judicial side at all. Really, it's an executive side. So, oh, I got you. Kind of like the mayor of the county. Mm. Uh, employees, bridges, roads, office of emergency. That's a good way to put it. That makes sense. That. So that's that's more of what I do. Okay. So yeah, this, this part of the courthouse was 1902. Okay. The part that we just walked out of with the counter. That that was all added on. Uh, I don't know. It looks like you had already gone out. I yeah, I've walked around to the other entrance over there and back. That's where you saw me. <laughs> you want to go anywhere else? Is there is there anywhere else, or is that about I'll it? I'll tell you one thing I think is cool. All yeah. right. So these are all the county judges prior to me. 2022, where's the first one? Check this thing out with the sword. Uh-uh. Look at this guy. Uh, like He's straight off stuff. the battlefield. Yeah, he has seen some things. Yeah. All so right, 1861, so, right. so we're talking like 160 years. The judges here. So this right here, see, see that stone right there? Yeah. That's the cornerstone of the courthouse. This is 1901. Oh. These are masoners doing, I think that's probably a Bible right there. Maybe they were doing some sort of blessing of the courthouse or, oh. I don't know, something that required you wear an apron. Um, <laughs> so that's where they were staying. Oh, cool. Right there. Uh, Let me get a good shot of this. Pretty stinking cool that 122 years ago those dudes were. That kind of gave me chills, man. That's awesome. Right <laughs> they were. Yeah. I don't look good in April. All right. Really now that's the coolest thing I've seen all day. Yeah. Be a Are big you old from club. Arkansas? Yeah. Well, I'm not from here. I've been here a while though. From Saline County? I've been. Oh no. Oh. I live in Conway. I got you. Yeah. I've been here since 2000. You got a name for the clock? clock. Big Bill or something? <laughs> no, no, wouldn't be a bad idea. No, don't know if they ever named it or not. Yeah, I, I never. Um, so have you been by here at nighttime? No, but I saw pictures and now oh, I dude, want you to. You need to come by. Yeah. Have you ever uh, heard of the movie White Lightning? Uh-uh. Burt Reynolds? He was filmed here. He no was, way, he was really? Google it, yeah. It's it's a it's a pretty cool town. Yeah, I'm gonna wander around a little bit, and I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna try to hang out till it gets dark and come look at these yeah, lights. You should. Yeah, because that's Justin, cool. right? Yes. What was my name? Matt. Come but on. I did but I didn't get your last name. Brumley. I'm James. You're James. I'm James Harris. I'm sorry. Brumley. Brumley. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Appreciate you guys, uh, Mr. Harris, Mr. Brumley. I'll just say this: we all have rough days. Sometimes. Yeah. We don't know where people are in their day, and that's not an excuse. I have terrible days sometimes. Yeah. And um, sometimes Same. your best intentions are caught in, in bad ways. And, gotcha. Um, I hope that you're able not to. I'm going to walk away and forget around. about it, but I just um, hope that she learned something and that, I forget his name already, but the younger guy that's right inside this door, he needs to learn well, something man, we too. we got to learn something every day. Yeah. And, and you're right. I've learned a lot. Yeah. And I'll continue, and I just hope everybody does. All right, Justin. No hard hey. feelings, though. I, I appreciate you guys. Be safe. Merry Christmas. You too. Merry Christmas. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was an interesting turn of events, wasn't it? Well, we're going to sit and uh, talk about what happened to old Uncle Justin today. So Uncle Justin went in here to see if they were going to respect my rights. They literally have monuments outside that we looked at on our way in talking about how they, um, you know, talking about our rights and freedoms and I'm actually drawing a blank on the exact wording of it, but we all saw it. And then when I walked in, literally the first person I talked to doesn't want to respect my rights or my freedoms or even follow his own policy. He was luckily saved by a superior, but it wasn't minutes after that that another person tried to violate my rights. So, uh, she was saved by the head of security 
And then the head of security was actually saved by the judge. I didn't realize it was, I straight said, who are you? Who's this guy? And uh, I didn't realize it was the freaking uh, county judge. So that's interesting. But, oh, what do we got here? We got some policemans. Hey, officer. If you're busy, ignore me, walk in, but I got a quick question if you're not busy. Can I ask you what the blue line flag means to you? If anything. Blue line flag to me, I'd say means is what Amer the American flag means to anyone else. In unity. Unity, but only for cops? No. You for everyone. Well Have then why well, then why not just have the American flag? That's a good question. I'm prior military, but so do you flag. know how people how a lot of people they don't really like the blue line flag, have you heard that? Yeah. And it's because it typically means unity, but just for y'all. And we don't like that. And so that's what I was just wanting to see if if you're gonna say oh, it's it's about brotherhood and cops sticking together. Because that's what it seems like, and that's why people don't like it. I got you. No, I mean, but, like I said, I, I'm prior military, and I, I mean, most of the time I pay attention to the American flag. Heck yeah. So Appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. I'm Justin. Justin, Jared. See you, man. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are my final thoughts. I think you guys are going to like this. First and foremost, let me just say that the Random Patriot is a great auditor. You can just tell he's also a great person. He doesn't have a bad attitude. His demeanor is perfect for auditing. If we could have a representative for the auditing community, I'd vote this guy in. He's quick in his responses. He knows what needs to be said. He doesn't come off as someone who's doing this for fame or fortune, which makes him a candidate to become both, and he'll deserve it if and when that happens. Now for these public servants. There's two that absolutely get a fail, and that's the first security guard or cop. I still can't figure out if they're cops or just security. The other is the tyrant woman who probably wears the pants in her house, and if she has a husband, he probably wears a dress, a nice pretty one with flowers. The main supervisor of security was very deceiving. You can tell he'd vote to take everyone's rights away, only for him to be crowned king. There's two public officials that did a great job, the supervisor that came out and put the rookie in check, and the county judge. I hate to praise them for just doing their job properly, but when you have clowns who think they're the rulers of the free world, it's kind of refreshing to see some that aren't so bad. There's a reason First Amendment audits have become a fast-growing phenomenon. It's necessary and incredibly important for this country to understand that we the people have the authority. There are people from all walks of life taking their seat at the round table of freedom and conducting First Amendment audits. The Founding Fathers would be proud of each and every one of you as I am. So if you haven't found yourself conducting a First Amendment audit, give it a try. Do it for yourself, for the people in your community, as well as the people of this world. If you have videos that you'd like us to review, copy your links and send them to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. Please give us as much information as possible. We've helped a tremendous amount of channels grow, and we'll continue to do that as long as we can. Make sure you give The Random Patriot your support by subscribing to his channel. Please let him know that I sent you. You have absolutely no idea how good it feels to see you in their comment section, letting them know your good amigo San Joaquin sent you. That really puts a smile on my face every time. I want to thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next video. I always record the police. Peace out.